Our universe is filled with multiple unsolved mysteries that are being encountered by scientists at every step they take into deep space. Right from mysterious radio signals coming from beyond the Milky Way to bright stars undergoing partial eclipses due to passing asteroids, the universe never ceases to amaze. And now another mystery has baffled astronomers, making them question the very source required for life to exist on our planet, the Sun. What exactly did they spot that got them all dumbstruck? Will this answer the question of how the universe came into existence? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Ever since its launch into deep outer space to answer questions regarding the origin of the universe, the James Webb Telescope has made many fascinating discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope that was specially created to carry out infrared astronomy. Its high-resolution and high-sensitivity apparatus allows it to view objects that are very old, distant or faint. Even better than the Hubble Space Telescope. This allows astronomers and cosmologists to catch a glimpse of the first stars and also the formation of the first galaxies. In some cases it even provides detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets, like Proxima Centauri b. This exoplanet orbits around the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. This is the closest star to the Sun and is about 4.2 light years from Earth. The reason it's called a dwarf is because of its low luminosity. Red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star in the Milky Way. But the James Webb Space Telescope recently found an anomaly in another dwarf star. This one being a brown dwarf also called a failed star. A failed star is a celestial body made of gas that can't sustain nuclear fusion of hydrogen because it couldn't reach the necessary mass for it during its formation like a successful star. This one is designated W1935 and is located over 40 light years from Earth. And the behavior of this dwarf star that perplexed astronomers is that it is showing signs of possessing an aurora. Auroras on Earth are known as the Northern Lights and they are visible in Iceland, northern parts of Sweden, Finland, Norway, Russia, Canada and Alaska as well as southern Greenland. This beautiful phenomenon is caused by charged particles from the Sun striking molecules in Earth's atmosphere. They are usually seen only at high latitudes, because our planet's magnetosphere channels these particles toward the poles. Such auroras have also been spotted in our very own solar system on Jupiter and Saturn, and even on Jupiter's moon Io and on Saturn's moon Enceladus. But the reason the aurora is bewildering astronomers is because W1935 has no stars close to it that could be providing the charged particles to fire it up. The potential aurora over W1935 was indicated by infrared emissions from methane, spotted by the James Webb Space Telescope. When methane emissions like this are seen over the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, they are the result of their atmospheres being heated by charged particles from our Sun thus creating aurorae. The same might apply to W1935 as well. With a lack of an external solar source to cause the brown dwarf's aurora, scientists believe that there may be some internal process occurring within W1935, supplying energy to its atmosphere. Maybe it's slowly beginning nuclear fusion of hydrogen which might eventually lead to the formation of a successful star in a few million years. We will only have to wait and watch to see how this celestial riddle finally unfolds. But do you think that W1935 is showing signs of becoming a successful star like our sun? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.